So here we are, having watched the episode of last uh, season finale of Picard. Um, I made notes, and I'm gonna try and like look at them if I can while I'm doing it. So um, in the beginning, she's like later, whatever. I'm like, what the hell does later mean? Um, but eventually, obviously, we saw what that means. Um, I like how she like shut him down. I like that that um, Maris slash Talon slash whatever just puts him in his place in every universe and every timeline. Um, I really liked her whole entire speech of like, let me, you're gonna let me do this. And she's like, I don't need saving, I never have. I was like, yeah, that is how you give a, a freaking speech that I appreciate that there's this man who has, you know, who wants to save everybody and stuff like that, but I don't need you to save me. Um, let's see, uh, Soong is a dick, like, I, I was like, you're such a dick, and, like, he, he then kills Talon slash whoever, uh, Renee, who thinks she is, and stuff like that, and I really like the, the obfuscation of that, it's my favorite word, um, and then I like how he gets his comeuppance, I love a comeuppance, I'm a huge fan of comeuppance when it comes to bad guys, um, I did, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I did yell Khan when he took out the folder and it said Khan on it. I did yell Khan like I'm an idiot. Um, Will Wheaton showing up was very Morpheus, like, you know, here's the blue pill or the green pill, you know what I mean? I do have to go back and watch that episode. I didn't watch those episodes about him becoming an inter internal being or some craziness like that. I actually felt like he kind of had the, um, the Will Wheaton, if Will Wheaton was a nicer guy from Leverage, but that's just because I've watched more of him as an adult in Leverage and Big Bang Theory, and you don't like Big Bang Theory, so there it is. Um, I did kind of like the symbolism of the skeleton key being like the circle of life, like he, uh, Picard had to choose to put the skeleton key back so that young little Picard would find it again. Um, I can't imagine the strength that that much has taken and, and the courage and the thoughtfulness and stuff like that. So I love the, um, the circle of life that that presented. And then Q's entire, like, you're my favorite and I did this so you could save yourself and stuff like that. It is the most I've ever liked Q. And it was like the sweetest story. I really got misty when like, he's like, you know, alone and then Picard goes to hug him and the look on his face, oh my God, such a beautiful end to the Q story. I'm a huge fan of how they did it. And he kept saying, like, I really liked when he was like, why? And then he's like, finish the sentence. He's like, why me? And I was like, yes, why you? Can we get an answer? So when he finally was like, you know, even gods have their favorites. And I was like, oh, I got that egg. Um, big fan. Uh, you definitely called Rio staying because of course he's going to stay because he's got a whole life there. I did like how Guinan showed up and she's like, I couldn't tell you the whole story about all the stuff. And then um, I like that we do find out what happens with Rios' story and he dies with a bar fight with the last puff of cigar. Um, I, I loved all that. Like I thought it was beautifully done um, with Rios' story going full, to, uh, full circle. Um, let's see, what else did I have? Um, I squealed when Seven became captain, when it was like a field commission or whatever, when they came back. Uh, candidly, when they came back to the, like that timeline, I was like, oh shit, that was like the beginning of the season. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. And that's how we ended up back in time and stuff like that. Completely, completely forgot about that. Um, and then obviously when they're there and they're like talking to her, uh, talking to whatever, the black thing, um, they were like, you know, she's had 400 years, and I was like, oh, that's how we know it's Agnes, and you did call her becoming the board queen as well. Um, I loved the evolution where the board was like, we need a friend. And I was like, that is not a Borg thing to say, but that is a very Agnes thing to say. So it, it kind of shows like the, like it was a weird thing for her to do to like uh, instill trust quickly. Um, because at that point in time, I 
I was like, these people don't trust them. I mean, like, we know what happens and stuff like that. But um, now that Q's not messing with us, don't play with this thing. And then she was like, you know, the board need a friend. And then that was like all they needed to say. Um, Yay, Elnor is okay. And ends up back in Elnor's uh, thing where they're happy and stuff like that. Um, I did think Rafi's little... Um, I'm gonna go do my own thing because I'm too much to take care of and then Seven just goes and kisses her to shut her up and I was like I, I've been there Rafi I've been there you know what I mean where you're pushing people away because you know you don't you're, you're trying to distance before they can hurt you and stuff like that and I like Seven just barreling through that big fan um, and then Seven just being Seven again you know what I mean like I want her to be Seven I don't want her to be you know pretty white girl again I want her to be Seven um, I loved, loved, loved that um, the Borg were like, we want to become part of the Federation as keepers of this trans warp gate. That trans warp thing was a little like odd with it. it was a galactic event and stuff like that. And I get that they were meant to do that. And I am interested to see if we're going to explore the trans warp conduit in season three. Um, but it seems kind of like all of a sudden, surprise, we have a galactic event that we were really supposed to be taking care of this entire time, and we completely forgot about the galactic event until the last five minutes of the episode. Thought that was weird. Um, I did love that right after she wants to be part of the Federation, the Le Motif place. Like, I, the moment I heard the music, I was like, <laughs> like, just, like, ridiculously happy. And then I liked the whole synchronicity of the whole thing. I, I did like that at the end, um, he ended up back with Maris and she fixed the solarium, I guess it is, or whatever, the big room with windows. And he gave a nice little speech about second chances. Um, I would, I wish that we had a little bit more of a concrete, yay, they got back together again and they took a chance on love kind of thing, but maybe that's for season three. Um, but I loved it. I, I actually thought the, the episode was very good. I, it had some dull moments, uh, I'm not going to lie, where I'm like, where's this going? What are we doing? Can we move it along here, please? Um, and it feels like some of the instances, like they, they wrapped it up kind of um, to make everybody happy, whereas I kind of like my shit a little bit dark sometimes. Um, but that's just my personal feeling on it. But I, all in all, I liked it. I thought it was a nice ending. It kind of felt like a series finale instead of like a season finale. So I'm not too sure what we're gonna, what season two is going, oh, season, sorry, season three is going to bring, but who knows. Um, I'm interested to hear how you felt about it. I just got home. I'm dropping my kids off. Um, I'm interested to hear what you felt about it, but I loved it. I thought it was great. Let me know how you feel.